I didn't think I was going to do a bed bucking video on Dak Prescott. Yet, here we are. So the reason being is he came out and he gave his take about what happened or what is going on with Jerry Jones. And as we all know, Dak Prescott is an intricate part of the Dallas Cowboys and has been for quite some time. But I'm going to go ahead and play the audio for you right now. You're going to hear what Dak Prescott has to say when it pertains to Jerry Jones. As I said, I'm here for growth and giving grace and, and trying to make this world a better place. And that's who I am in my, at my core and all I believe in. And, um, yeah, unfortunate things come up from the past pictures and, and they show um, that they show how far we've come. But in the same sense, they're a reminder of, of um, how or how what uh, wounds. Or yeah, or just how sort of a time that was ago in the same sense. Um, it wasn't that long ago that, that we were all sitting on different sides and that we weren't together. But as I said, I wouldn't be here if it was still that way. So I believe in grace and change. And th those are questions for Jerry and, and for y'all, honestly, that I don't have quite the answers for. OK, so you heard that right there. And. What I found to be interesting about this is that Dak Prescott either wasn't prepared to answer this question or he just said whatever came to his mind at that moment that he felt like would not get him any kind of pushback. It almost seemed like it wasn't a genuine type of response. It feels to me that he wanted to give the response that sort of like what LeBron James gave, but just couldn't formulate the words to want to say it. So he, this is the first thing that came to his mind. Trust and believe this is not me trying to give him like an out of what he said. Cause at the end of the day, this is a grown man. He's going to he, He's going to say what he wants. And then on top of that, he plays for the same exact team in which the owner has this major controversy around him. Now, as many of you know or may not know, Dak Prescott is biracial, you know, uh, much like Colin Kaepernick. But it's clear to see he doesn't have the Colin Kaepernick type of spirit. So there's that. I just wanted to point that out just in case y'all were unaware. But society will always see him as a nigga. Let's just put it that way because Dak Prescott could not pass by any measure. Let's just be clear with ourselves here. And I was watching a video Willie D did on the same topic and he asked a question or he posed a statement that I thought was very interesting. And I'm going to pose that same question and statement here. Why do they always go to the black athletes when it comes to situations involving this? But then when black athletes give their take on anything involving the black community or how to push the black community forward or anything in the political realm, then that's when they want to pull the Laura Ingram and tell him to shut up and dribble or in this case, shut up and pass or shut up and kick. Or shut up and score a touchdown or whatever they whatever euphemism they would want to come up with when it comes to NFL players. Now, something else I also noticed, too, in this is that when he was talking, if you notice, he gave like kind of an awkward silence and someone almost it's almost like someone who was in the media kind of helped guide him to get the answer or the response that he they wanted him to give. My thing is this. If you don't want any controversy around you, the best thing that you could have said was no comment. That was the best thing that Dak Prescott could have said. He could have said no comment and move on to the next thing because they're going to always ask these athletes that question or when it comes up when it comes to jerry jones especially if you pay if you play for the team they're going to constantly ask you and we all know that the nfl is majority black as far as the players go but again why don't they ever go to the pc players and ask them what they think about it that gave the most politically correct response that you could think of but we knew which way he was leaning towards he said grace he said we should give him grace no Dak we are not going to give him grace and like I said he gave the perfect response he gave the response that they would prefer every black person especially every black male athlete to give when it comes to a situation such as this anything that could get this cane from poltergeist part two looking gremlin some kind of 
pass and a move to shift himself out of harm's way. We will not give Jerry Jones a pass. We don't care what Dak Prescott or any one of these paid weight, these paid slaves, these high paid uh, slave millionaires will say about him. And see, he's a, he's scared to lose his position. That's what it really is. He doesn't want any heat to come down on him. So he gives this type of response. But I have a question for Dak Prescott. What if something from your past came up, whether it's a picture or any type of a scandal came from your past? And it doesn't have to be that long. Well, let's just say it happened when you were, let's say when you were 14. I don't know how old Dak Prescott is, but let's just have, like, hypothetically say they pulled something from your past when you were 14 years old that would be quote unquote deemed controversial. How far out do you think Jerry Jones will extend his neck for you? How far do you think the media will extend grace and mercy to you? See, a lot of these athletes don't understand that you can do stuff like this, but they will not extend the olive branch back to you, at least not to the point where you're extending it out to them. That's why when Stephen A for asshole Smith gets his wake up call, it's going to be a glorious one. And I keep telling people all the time that the Sambos out here and the sand bets for the women, when they get their wake up call, the people that's going to give it to them are the ones whose ass they love to kiss. I, I'm surprised some people still haven't caught on to that by now. We, as much as we want to administer the wake up call to them, we are not in a position to do so. That's why they continue to run rampant, which is exactly why a lot of these Sambos and the sand bets cozy up the way that they do to Massa and Miss Ann. Because they know if we get any type of power, it's a wrap for them. They, like, I'm going to tell you this is right now. If we as black people as a collective got any type of power, the first thing we getting rid of is them Sambos and them shucking jivers. They got to go. They are going to be the first people that have to get out of here. And we got to identify them fast because they, they walk amongst us. It's almost like literally like that movie Us that Jordan Peele came out with a couple years ago. They got to go. Because those are going to be the hardest ones to scope out. A lot of them are going to try to shape up and, you know, get their act together. But by that time, it's, by this time, it's already too late. No, we, we already got our eyes peeled on you. They have got to go. Then we will move forward with who else got to go. But yeah, Dak Prescott, that was a very uh, interesting response, not so surprising response. And it didn't, it was a shaky one. Like I said, shaky because he wasn't confident in what he said. He should have just said no comment. I would have been fine if he just said no comment. He doesn't want to give a response. He doesn't want to move his position at this. At that point, it's just speculation of whether he feels some type of way about it or if he does. But this response that you gave right here, it sounded so it almost sounded rehearsed almost as if someone or your publicist told you to say this. If you ever got questioned about it, as if you as if they were preparing for you to be asked that question because they knew they were going to ask you that question. He's a franchise player. So. You know, there's that again, this was an unexpected bed bucking video that I had to do on him, but it had to be done. And I have a feeling that it's going to be more to come, especially just on this situation alone. 